What's going on guys, it's Sook and I am back with a brand new video on Super Duper Tech and in today's video I shall be showing you the results that I got when running a number of different benchmarking applications on the 2020 upper base model 13 inch MacBook Pro. Now we are on the road to 5,000 subscribers and if you are new around here then I must ask you to hit the subscribe button clicking the bell icon to be notified of when I upload any of my new videos. But without any further ado, Let's hit the titles. The first benchmarking application that I ran was Geekbench 4. Now Geekbench is good as it runs a number of different tests and algorithms and depending on how they've performed and how long it took to perform them, it will then give a score accordingly. Now with this I got a single core score of 4473 and a multi core score of 16165. I also performed a number of tests on the integrated GPU using Geekbench's OpenGR and Metal tests. Now these tests are designed to see how well the iGPUs perform when using said graphics API. When looking at the OpenGR tests using the integrated graphics processing unit, we got an OpenGR score of 50,819 and when running the same test on the Metal API, we got a score of 34,821. The next testing application that I ran was once again from Geekbench, this time their newer version of Geekbench 5, which has an increased amount of tests which are designed to further tax the machine when compared to Geekbench 4. But the scores are once again based off of performance and the time taken to perform them. Now when testing the CPU, I got a single core score of 858, whereas on the multi-core side of things, I got a score of 3615. As the 13 inch MacBook Pro still does not have a dedicated graphics card like we have with the 16 inch model, the OpenGL and Metal tests like in Geekbench 4 were performed on the integrated GPU. Now these are designed to see how well they perform using said graphics API. When looking at the OpenGL tests using the integrated graphics, we got an OpenGL score of 7411 and when running the same test on the Metal API, we got scores of 6,946. The next benchmarking application that I ran on this MacBook Pro was GFX Bench Metal which is once again designed to test out the performance of the graphics on the Metal API. Now GFX Bench runs a number of different tests which vary from both higher and lower levels of intensity. Now I have calculated the average across each of these categories but as always I shall show you each individual result. And the average that I got for the higher intensive task was a frame rate of 34.47, whereas for the lower scores, I got a score of 111.23 frames per second. Next up, I wanted to find out how fast the internal SSD was on this machine. Now using Blackmagic's disk speed test, I found that I got read and write speeds in excess of 2300 megabytes per second. I then ran NovaBench. Now NovaBench is a good general benchmark as it tests not only the CPU and GPU, but it also tests the storage and the system memory. Now the score that I got for this test was 1340. Next I ran a network speed test and consistently got download speeds of above 212 megabytes per second while the upload speeds were around 10% of that. Next I ran Cinebench. Now Cinebench is a good benchmarking program as it tests each individual thread and then gives it a score similarly to how Geekbench gives its score based on the time taken to complete the task. Now for Cinebench I got a score of 1477. Then exported video footage to H.264 at both Full HD and 4K using Final Cut Pro with background rendering turned off. Now the time taken to export the Full HD project was around 3 minutes and 28 seconds, whereas it actually was a little faster exporting the 4K project at around 3 minutes and 13 seconds. 
The last series of tests that I performed came from Unigen. The first of these was the Heaven benchmarking test, which is a heavy CPU and GPU test, which will then give a general score based on its performance and then an average frame rate for when rendering out a particular scene. Now the average frame rate that I got for this test was 32.7 frames per second and a score of 825. Once again, from Unigen benchmarking tools, the last test that I performed was their Valley test, which performs a similar set of tests to the previous one and grades its performance on a score and frame rate. And the frame rate that I got for this particular task was around 32.2 frames per second with a score of 1,352. So that has been well, it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the video and, and if you want to around here, then be sure to subscribe as I said, as we are on the road Eagles to 5,000 subscribers. Also, if you haven't done so already, then hit me up on my social media if you've got any particular video ideas or any suggestions as to what you want to see on the channel. And once again, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.